Two of ours are keeping the Bioform ships at bay, but they can't hold them off forever. Getting remote telemetry from the away team tricorders. I'd recognize that anywhere. Our warp core resonant frequency is one of the readings. They're bleeding us dry. But they're not just taking our power, they're routing it through the Cartabula. This is the Resolute's warp core resonant frequency. Not sure about these others, though. I'll scan the power readings for a match. I'll try to isolate them for you. That frequency matches the Titan's warp core resonance. These two are the Kimball and the Lowell. They're both Steamrunner class. Same engine platform. They're tuned just a little differently. <sighs> I wish I didn't, but I think I understand this readout. This warning means the Cartabula is struggling with the power stacked up at such close resonant frequencies. It can't handle the dissonance. This is Westbrook. Are you reading these Starfleet engine signatures? We are, and you need to see this. The Steam Runner class frequencies are causing problems for the Affiliate's energy source. Sending visuals now. They're vulnerable. We have to use this. You can break a wine glass if you play the right note loud enough. Sir? The Takan are so arrogant. They're letting us right in the front door with this energy drain. We can tune our warp core output to those frequencies. Get all our ships to do the same. Push it to maximum levels and we might be able to crack the wine glass, the cartabula, and take their ship offline. There is merit to the theory. But if we attempt this, it would preclude any other course of action. It'll work. It has to. Do it. We need to strike back. And we'll lead by example. I will create a high energy static warp shell. We'll need the away team to guide us to the right frequency. We read you, Resolute. You're putting a lot of faith in us, Captain. That's a hell of a plan. We don't want to let you down. I know it's a lot to put on your shoulders. But we need you, right where you are. Yes, Captain. If our plan works, it looks like it will trigger an ejection routine. Yeah, but they're going to have to overload the Cartabula right up to the edge of destruction. We are increasing the warp core resonant frequency now. I can't feel my hand anymore. I'm scared, Carter. I don't want this transformation to go all the way. I can't let that happen. I won't live like that. Just focus on one thing at a time. I'm trying. We stop the Takan, and we get you out of here, and get you help. One thing. 
thing at a time. Is something wrong? No, no, we're, we're fine. Do you see our output frequency changing? We do. What is the impact on the Aphelion systems? Hold on, I... Hold on, I can do better than this. I know it. Now that this plan's in action, I have more to work with. Inertial dampeners are failing. Warp output at 85%. They're taking the bait. Now we need the rest of the fleet. Open a channel to anyone left on our side. Opening a channel. This is the Resolute. We're sending instructions to all ships to output maximum warp power at the designated frequency. We believe this will disable the Aphelion. We don't know that. All we know is that it'll siphon off our energy much quicker. You're leading us to disaster. Are you out of your mind? That has given them exactly what they want. You can't just expect us to turn belly up. I'm not asking you to risk anything we haven't put on the line ourselves. If you want to get out of this alive, you'll have to follow our lead. It's hard not to follow someone who's charging ahead of you. We're adjusting the Titan's warp output to match the Resolutes. I suggest the rest of you do the same. Falling in line. This is the Takahashi. Adjusting our engines now. Damn it. It's trying to compensate. But some of these other frequencies are causing spikes too. We need to find a new target range for the Resolute. Okay. I'm gonna process these frequencies. Here it is. If they all converge on this frequency, it'll provide maximum disruption to the Cartabula. Ready to send. We want to overload this thing, push it to the brink, but not past it. You sure about this frequency? If we go too far, we won't just be destroying the Cartabula. We're going to take a lot more with us. I'm sure. I bet my life on it. It's all our lives. Sending data to the Resolute. sent us an updated target sending it to engineering now we are now running our core at 105 percent of recommended capacity if we try to meet that frequency we will generate a harmonic imbalance of our own and risk a warp core breach i must warn you these are precisely the engine conditions that captain solano's experiment brought about A runaway reaction is a dangerous possibility right now. We can't afford to start second-guessing ourselves. We need to stay the course. Is my order beyond your ability to execute? Then you will follow it. We're all counting on you. Yes, Captain. It's not going to eject? We'll have to disengage the Cartabula manually. We lit this fuse. we got to make sure it doesn't go off the wrong way. Those levers will do it, if we can pull hard enough.
just a little more. We have full power. And the Aphelion is shutting down. Returning warp reactor to nominal output levels. The Takan are running off reserve power now. 